that work? I was just going to text you because, because, I'll tell you why. Oh, give me a minute. Let people come in so I don't have to repeat myself. But I was just going to text you because what I want to talk about, it ties back to fancy. And I know, like, one of the last times I talked, Shorty and Heels, too. You, too. Because I've seen you in her lives, right? Uh, 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 let me back up a bit, right? So I found her, I want to say, maybe about a month ago. Oh, boy, bro. Um, I found her about a month ago, just like came up on my YouTube suggestions. And I was like, huh, what's this, right? So I was watching it. And then I saw that she came over to TikTok. So I followed her here. And I don't know, I want to say it had to be like Monday or Tuesday, right? And I was listening to her live and she was like nosedive spiraling. And I was like, right? So like, let me tell Tay to come in here because me and Tay were talking about it, right? Hold on. Let me tell her to come in here. And, and we were talking about it, and Tay was like, I don't know, something's up with this girl, right? Something's weird here. Um, and I was like, I know. Hi, how are you? I was like, I know, right? <laughs> I found a Reddit thread, right? And, and, and we were just talking back and forth about how, like, from when I found her till now, the spiral is like a nosedive, right? I don't know. I know she says that she has, like, this um, illness that makes carbs or sugar trans transform into alcohol, which is weird. But I found a Reddit thread. It's called, and I was like, I'm gonna, I gotta turn off invites because people are wild. Yes, but but so did you find her before the spiral? Like, did I send it to you before the spiral started? Because she used to be kind of credible. And then it was just like, phew, straight down. Like, no breaks. <laughs> it was wild. I do like the girl that, I'm trying to find it. The girl that she goes live with, I do like her, Ryan. I do like her. And I think that she's... Um, why can't I find it? I think that she's more, right, right? You see it too? Because I used to, like, she used to, like, the things that she said seemed credible, you know? And then it was just like, I was listening, like, I'll pop in here and there. Hi, how are you? You know what I mean? But, um, I popped in and I'm like, what is happening here? Thank you. What is going on here? And I just like had it as background noise. And I was just like, she's losing it. She's losing it. And I was like, super embarrassing for like, I was embarrassed for her. But then I'm trying to find that. Hi. Right now, here's the thing. I like um, I like Ryan. I, I really do like Ryan. And and I feel like I'm trying to find it. It's not coming up. It's like, it's something gypsy, gypsy. I'm going to find it. Just give me one second. Uh, GRB skeptic is the thread. And her, so the people that used to work with her did a live. Chrissy, did I send it to you? They did a live and she's in the comments, dude, spiraling, spiraling. It is, it's crazy. But now there's a whole Reddit thread. I will say this. I have noticed like just from like, I really don't scroll TikTok much, but 
But just from like the general consensus of like things that I see, I can see that like the tide has certainly turned against Gypsy, but fancy. And, and I really try to like, like the first live that I went into, I, I saw her kind of like, you know, and, and I was like, maybe it's just the day, like, you know, people have bad days. I get it. You know what I'm saying? And then it was like an, an a reoccurring thing. Hi, how are you? Thank you. Th thank you. That, that, uh, that's what, but I feel like the last two weeks, something has changed. I, I don't know what, you know, like maybe she's got some sort of undiagnosed or untreated mental health disorder, but it is evident that something has changed. And like, uh, Brian, uh, not Ryan, uh, fancy the gypsy rose thing. But like when I found her, I found her on YouTube originally, she was not like this. So, like, I don't know if it's like, hi, Goose, how are you? <clears throat> I don't know if it's like the pressure, right? So, so I was listening to, let me, I'll backtrack a little bit. So I was listening to her live one day, right? And I kind of just have it on as background noise while I do other things. And she was complaining about something in the live, the her having to repeat herself and this and that and the other thing. And, and so my first thought was, she's just not used to TikTok, right? Because apparently she's been on YouTube a while. So like, oh, she's just not used to TikTok. Now, when you're, you, I know, I saw that. I've been, I've been watching it. Thank you. Um, So like when you're used to one platform and then you make a total shift to another, it is different. It takes some getting used to, especially with TikTok, where people are going in and out and in and out and in and out. You're constantly having to repeat yourself. You know what I mean? So I get it. And I don't like to do that either. However, that's this app, right? So like the first time I saw her like that, I would, that's what I was thinking in my head, right? I was kind of just like, oh, she's just not used to TikTok. Like this is how TikTok operates. And it's very different than YouTube would be. And then it just continued to spiral. And I was just like, I don't know, but this don't look good, right? So then the other day on my Reddit homepage, that Gypsy Rose, uh, that page popped up and I went, Chickabon, I'm glad you're here because I've seen you there, right? I, that page popped up and I was like, ooh. It's crazy to me how people could be credible, right? Like, I don't believe that that she's different in her professional life. You know what I'm saying? However, after finding this Reddit thread, how, how professional was she? Right? So it, it, it truly is crazy. But I am like, I'm not here for the ping pong and the back and the forth. But like, it is something's going on. And that's all I'm going to say. Right. Right. That's what I'm saying. But check about when did you find her? Because do you think that it's more like a, a thing now? Because I don't, I didn't see that a month ago. I feel like it's just kind of snowballed into that. So then you take into the, then you take into the effect, like, uh, People aren't used to being, right, so bipolar, was she always like this? Because you, I, I understand, like, you got to take into, uh, def, like, being attacked every day, right? Doxing, this, that, the other, we're talking about fancy. And, and like, some people can't handle that. Like, I, I totally understand that. That is not for everyone, Right. So maybe that's where the change happens. I don't know. <laughs> ah, but but I feel like, oh, bipolar. I like Ryan. I, I said that before you came in. Uh, I, I like Ryan. I do think that Ryan, but I think that this is going to be not good for her, right? So when I first found her, right? I didn't, I don't, I didn't have this opinion about it. I thought that she was better, but now like 
the nosedive and and I'm trying like obviously like I'm trying to find a why right like what happens to to cause this whole right and and like like so that's the only thing that I could kind of make the connection with is like you know her being attacked right because you don't really have that on youtube you don't have like the ping pong and the back and the forth right so like that I, that's the only thing that i can bring it like in my mind you know what i'm saying but she is absolutely damaging her credibility like if she is credible this which her actions are absolutely like ruining it and that's sad <clears throat> you know what I'm saying? Do I think that she has, you have to hide, you have to, this, I was telling, did I send this to you, Ted? Because I just found it. It is, hold on, I'll go back, I'm sorry. Gypsy Rose Blanchard, skeptic. It's GRB, skeptic. That, see, but that's where I kind of think it started, right? Like, because prior to that situation, right, that's what I'm saying. Like, prior to that situation happening and that whole crime news network thing, that all happened. Hi. When that all happened, that's when I started to notice the unraveling. And then you come to, like, this, is she unraveling because these are truths being told? And I don't know about y'all, right? But I like to, like, dig and find out why this is all happening. So when you find, I came across um, Gypsy Rose. Yeah, I'll send it to you. I came across Gypsy Rose's um, Amen, right? Hi, how are you? Um... I can't, she, she is the PR team. <laughs> like what? Yes. Spiraling. Spiraling. But isn't that like, I don't know, Susan. I don't know. I think it's very real, to be honest, because I don't know. Right? PR is the need of our own PR. Amen. Right? But like, she's got to know Oh, Lord. Uh, no, uh, I need a break from that one because I've never wanted to like eh, 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 as much as I do now. You know what I'm saying? Um, I I knew that, that the, the rabbit hole was deep, but I didn't think it was this deep. And, and I had to take a break last week because I was... <laughs> You know, I couldn't even listen to it anymore. And and I, I really wanted to go into it. Like, I had my own preconceived notion, right? But I really wanted to go into it as impartial as possible. And I failed at that. I will say that miserably. <laughs> right, but like, my God. Hi, Olivia. Um, I missed it, Tay. I'm sorry. Every, almost everyone has left up, but if you go back and watch, that's what I'm saying. Like, where did this break happen? I'm <laughs> Tay. <laughs> Tay gets mad because I'm the one that sent her the gypsy, <laughs> the fancy thing. <laughs> she says she curses me every day <laughs> because it's you know how a train wreck, right? Like you love a good train wreck. Like you can't look away, right? But then, oh, oh, y'all. <laughs> so people that she used that used to work for her. I'm sorry, I got something in my eye. Or like be on her team, right? Um, bipolar. I've been posting more of that over there because you know. But there's more. There's more about her over there. I don't know if you've been seeing them. So, no, but that that was me talking about JFK. Like I, I can't take it, right? Like I, I ask myself every <laughs> I ask myself every single day, why did I do this to myself? Right? Because so when I decided, because I was going back and forth with it for a while, right? Because I was retired. I was retired from doing this. I didn't want to do this anymore, right? And I, I asked a couple of people around me and I said, 
what do you think about me doing a deep dive on Jessica Ken? And and it was very like I knew, right? I knew who it was coming. I, I knew that it was a lot, right? But I had no idea that it would take me this long. Number one, I had no idea. And when I say, I think I took a break for two days last week, maybe. Uh, Fancy is Gypsy Rose's old publicist and currently on like a on TikTok. <laughs> but Jessica Kent is who I'm posting about right now. But um, and and I asked a couple of people around me, right? Because if you don't know, when once I'm in, I'm all in, right? Like there's nothing that's gonna make me stop. Like you could try, you know, you could you could dox my phone number that's been doxed a hundred times. You know what I'm saying? But you're not really gonna get anywhere as far as me stopping. I stop when I want to stop, right? So I don't have kids that you could call CPS on. I'm unemployed right now, right? So, but I knew that I was, I knew that I was using it as a distraction, right? And that's the difference between, um, I guess me and her, right? Like I know that what I'm using it as, right? That's not gonna change anything, unfortunately, right? <sighs> Oh my God. Well, it, nothing's going to change the situation. But then again, I'm putting it out and walking, right? I am just, uh, it's not going to be a back in the fourth thing. I'm not going to spend three years doing it, right? I'm going to drop it as a series and keep it moving. I'm not, I'm not going to go back and forth. I'm not doing any of that. And, and I, I do, um, Oh my God, I'll, I'll, her TikTok is, um, uh, why are you just getting that? I'm sorry. Thank you, Chickabon. Um, uh, the Good Wives Network on, on TikTok, right? But I don't know. I don't know. I know, but, but then see, here's the thing, right? And, and I'll be completely honest. Like, I don't want to keep dealing with drama. Like, I don't want to do that. And that's why when, when I was thinking about starting a Just Kent series, I was like, you know what I mean? But I figured I would just put it out as a series like I did with Sage, right? I just dropped the series and kept it moving. I'll do that. I've been thinking, um, Um, I, I just, I want to just, I don't know. Right. But until I get back to Florida, I just, so it's, so, listen, I wish I had the voice clip, right? Because when I sent it to, <coughs> I obviously, I recorded those videos, right? I had to scrap one because I, I was, it was just so bad. Right. So I scrapped one, started refilming. And then I, the whole goal was to keep it on TikTok, right? Y'all, let me tell you something. And and I, this is going to sound terrible, but I, <laughs> if you are av ever having a bad day, right? Go read Jessica Kent's Facebook comments. Instant. You will instantly feel better about yourself because it is awful, right? So I was noticing while I was doing the digging that it's so different on TikTok. It is such a different, the Good Wives is fancy. It was such a different tone here, right? So I was like, I'm going to try to work on something that will stay up here, right? Because this is where we need it to be. See, I know she's already mad. She was mad by the time I introduced myself to her. She was, she was kind of pissed. Right. And, and, but here's the thing, right? I like... You can't deny it. The, uh, GRB skeptic, just as good, I promise you. Um, I just know. So, so she's had some type of success here um, because she reports it, right? So when I filmed, I wanted to make sure, Ivan, you had personal experience with Fancy. Are you still here? I have to know. 
because I saw you were live with her the other day. It, what is happening with her? She needs like a, a break, I think. Ugh, listen, cookies. I had to take a break because I was like, <laughs> I wanted to like, uh, with a pencil in my ear, you know? I couldn't take it anymore. And, but I will say this. I will say this. I really expected this. So last week, I uh, yeah, it it just in my opinion, right? It's it's the it's making her lose credibility fast. Um, I think that I forgot what I was just gonna say. Um, I was debating right. So when I started this, right. I, I know for those of you that have been with me for a while, you know, I don't really give a shit about the hate that comes with it. Right. So like, I really thought that I would get some pushback in my comments. Not one comment offending her. Not one comment is offending her. So to me, that tells me everything I need to know, right? Because I truly, it's not one comment, Jacobon. Not one comment. So so sometime last week, beginning of last week, I was actually sitting and I was thinking like, is it even worth it? Because I honestly think it's done, right? I honestly think that not one comment. And I, I was like, that's weird, right? Yeah, she should, because I know that that triggers her. I think that I was saying before you got here that it, she's different. Like this platform is very different than what she's used to, right? It's much more interactive and it's hard. You know what I'm saying? It's really hard. And I think I just want her to be better, you know? Whew. No, nothing, not one comment, not one comment. So to me, I was like, is this even worth it, right? Because that tells me that people see it, right? So I was like, I'm going to put all this time in and nobody's even going to give a damn. You know what I mean? I, I know because I was around for that. I was watching it. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, no, I agree. I said that as well. I do think that the, the tides have changed for her as well. Hi, how are you? So like... With with Jessica, though, like I really thought I didn't think it was that bad. Right. So I wanted to 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 put, you know, I, to play in a video that would stay on TikTok. She hit the first one, but I'll get it back. So like, what was the point of that? You're just wasting your own time. So listen, I, her following is, is depleted. I will say that. Right. That's what I'm saying. I think that they know. I think that they know. Ugh. Another one. I can't roll my eyes hard enough for that one. And like, why is she always on the wrong side of things? I did see a video of hers, I think this morning. And for somebody that's not on any mat, like, girl, where are your pupils? Hi, Charlie. I'm not afraid of her either. I sent you that video, right? Where she sent me, um, so I'll play it for you. I'll play it for you. Ugh, ugh. Ugh, I can't. I'll play it for you. Hold on. So she was obviously trying to get into my account, right? Clearly, and then made a whole video and I thought that I would just give you a little elaboration on why you were blocked. You were blocked because you would fiercely defend Ms. Ashy Cat. And you also said that you don't know who I am. I highly doubt that because she's in your comments. Anywho, uh, yeah, so I'd love to know what kind of, what drama you were trying to keep up with. Is it the Izzy thing? I'll, I'll unblock you so you could see this video because I think that we have very different views and I think that you don't want to hear it when people try to explain to you the situation. Every even a victim. She's not
have the benefits of. And what she's doing right now is is quite sad. So those that defend her, they get blocked. When you hear about the new TikTok drama and you want to play too, then you get there and find out they already took precautions so you couldn't play. They never let poor Rudolph join in any reindeer games. I was innocently going over there to see what was going on. Like, I want to sip my tea too, shit. Maybe this is a good thing. Because if you went all the way out of your way when I've never heard about you to block me, I don't want to know what's on that page, actually. Got stuff to do today. We don't want no smoke over there, so I'm just going to go about my day. So I was sent this video and I thought that I... How long do you think she blocked me after I made that video? Instant. <laughs> like a second I got the tag in. Blocked. <laughs> Hi, Ryan. How are you? So, like... And you know what it is? Hi, Jen. You know what it is? She She didn't know that that page belonged to me. Right? So, she didn't put two and two together that villain was queen of being banned you know what i'm saying oh somebody sent me that video i was like fucking stop stop it <laughs> but yeah she blocked me the second i made that so like she's always on the wrong side of things honestly like oh my god they tear her apart on reddit and i know listen i know she's making videos about real talk recovery and like I'm not friends with Real Talk Recovery. I kind of just stay in my own lane these days. You know what I mean? I have the people around me that like... <laughs> but I know that she's got like this serious problem with Ivan. And like, I don't know what he ever did. And I've been following him a long time. So like, what? It's weird. It is weird. And I agree that for the majority, of, like the recovery community can be toxic, right? Like I, I, I'm not arguing there. I just, mm, some of us are more toxic than others, right? It's crazy. Well, listen, you know what I don't agree with? This is what I don't agree with. I don't agree with I think, I think it was Nicole, actually, that said something about the bathrobe. And she said that she wears it because she's autistic. I don't agree with stuff like that. That's, a, that's an excuse, right, that you shouldn't be using, right, for something like that. That's all I got to say about that. I, I agree. But, like, Miss Ashy Cat, Jessica Ken, like, you see a theme here? Because I do. And and I agree that, like, you got to meet people where they are to an extent. But there's a fine line between meeting people where they are and enabling. Right? Thank you. <clears throat> I don't, I don't, patterns, listen, patterns of behavior are the biggest thing for me. Right? Because it used to be, what did they used to call us? God damn it. Board, board housewives. But like, at what point are you just enabling shitty behavior? Yeah, it was, it was, uh, board, board housewives. And then board housewives, no, they used to call the anti eshi cat community board housewives. So then, uh, board housewives took it as a, as a, uh, as an at. It, you know what's crazy to me? Oh, Lord, Ryan. You know what's crazy to me? I feel like I'm kind like I'm pretty self-aware, right? Like I know what I'm doing. I, I'm I'm pretty self-aware. I can't wrap my head around being that not in touch with reality. Does that does that make sense? Do you know what I mean by that? Oh, I don't give a damn. I, I, she's another one. Like I've watched enough of her to, you know what I mean? And I wish that people would understand that they're taking the bait by posting her, you know? If, I think that that was a, a real big eye-opening moment for me, one of them anyway, was without us, she has nothing, nothing. 
right? So, so I'm, I'm the kind of person that like, if I know what you want, I'm not giving it to you. Right. So like without trolls, what do you got? You got nothing. Right. And, and I do think it's unfortunate that her son will have to see all of this stuff. You know what I'm saying? For me, I'm, and this is what people don't understand. Like most anyway, I don't, um, I don't necessarily move with bad intentions, right? So like, I want everybody to just get their shit together and do the right thing. Is that, that's asking too much. I know, but like, I want people, even her, right? And, and this is, this is something that like, I saw your video, if you're watching, and I just want to let you know, that's a crock of shit. Because, you know, I knew you were pregnant before most, right? And I didn't want to make a video about it, did I? No, I didn't. So, like, right. And, and that's the thing, too, Ryan, right? Is if you're so focused on other things, you're not doing what you're supposed to be doing, which at this point in time is the most critical, you know? Just how I feel about it. But, like, even her... I tried to help her get sober. I had an hour long conversation with Izzy White as I was dragging him on the internet because I can take like my personal feelings out of it and address you like a human being. I don't know why that's hard for people, you know? Listen, <sighs> tell you what it... <laughs> Do you remember when, when she texted me and she told me, when I called you, what was I doing? Hi, Brandy, how are you? Do you remember what my reaction to her being pregnant was? I threw up. That's exactly what happened. I was physically ill at that, right? I think that if she was really ready to get sober, she'd be being honest, not just with her following, but with herself, you know? Oh, yeah. Oh, okay, I'll clean it out today. Hi, boxes. Dog. My sister got into a car accident yesterday. How are you, boxes, dogs, mom? And I did see Bo Bandy, another one. Give it up, girl. Come on. Yeah, she's okay. Thank God her car is okay because that car, she just got it. Did she get it before Mexico or after Mexico? She got it before, like maybe right after we went. I meant to call you, but because I was like, last night when I was going to sleep, I was like, I should tell Tay that my sister got, and I was, I forgot. <sighs> Yeah, she's okay. But the car is like, I I agree, Flyers. I agree. And like, there's a difference there, right? Like, I think that it matters with the, give me a second, Amanda. Yes and no. Yes and no. Right, that's what I'm saying, Tay. She didn't total it. She didn't total it. But, but. She's got like a, a gash, like, and thank God nobody was hurt or like there wasn't another car involved, but she went to New York. Um, my cousin had a baby. Yeah. I, so I do want to know, I think that Paisley knows, um, my cousin had a baby. So she went up yesterday. She's here. She's got a new page. She went up yesterday and we were all supposed to go, but I woke up yesterday and I was sick. Hi, Irish. So I went back to sleep and like, it's not good to be around a new baby when you have a sore throat. So I stayed back. I thought my brother went with her, but he wound up not going. So then apparently when she got in last night, she got into a, a car accident, but I'm just grateful that everybody's okay. You know, did you make it Irish? I know you were trying to get to, I know that the live rules have changed, right? I'm not sure what they are. Just because 
um, my accounts all. You got to get a, a agency. Okay, you can. It's eight, right? I knew, so somebody made a video about it. I was like, I thought they changed it because I know I see people in boxes that aren't at a thousand. So I know that they changed it. I just wasn't sure of the specifics. I don't even use my other pages, y'all. This account, do you, know, do you know how long it's been since I've had an account not with a warning? Most of y'all in here have been with me for a while. I haven't seen an account that isn't on a warning in four years. <laughs> I don't have an account warning. I know. It's crazy. It is crazy. But like the first time I noticed it, I was like, holy shit, my account doesn't have a warning. But like, if you think about it, how, like, did I break community guidelines? I'm sure in some videos I did, right? But like, I wasn't that bad. I would just, I know, I would just throw it on YouTube if I knew it would be a violation. You know what I mean? I got hip to it. I know. Crazy. I am on my good behavior. I've been on. So don't use the clown emoji. Don't use the vomit emoji is a sure. Um, a sure. I'm telling you, I stopped fighting TikTok. Oh, okay, good. Text it to me if you go. So, so that's the thing, right? Does anybody have an idea? That's all right there. I see you. People are asking about you if you want to show your new page. I was I didn't know if I was going to text you, but then I got sidetracked to see if you wanted people there. There she is. <laughs> Do you know what's the cat steal, Paisley? I, I didn't know if you wanted it like out there, so I didn't. <laughs> yeah, it's, they were asking about you um, before you came in. Were your ears ringing? Yeah, no, you're good. <laughs> How you doing on this account? I was saying, this is the first time I've ever not had an account warning on my page. It's wild. Yeah, I, I know, because when, when she, so MJ, when you messaged me about it before, I did, I texted it to her, but I think that she, <laughs> stop it. <laughs> oh, I've been busy, I'm telling you. Hi, Charlie. So I, I don't know if these animals think that they're mine, right? They sleep. Do you not, I wonder if I took a picture. You ready for this? Thank you, Olivia. Um, I'm going to show you how I sleep in the bed. Okay. Because they sleep. One is in front of me. One is behind me. And look, look at this. What? That cat is on me. Okay. Listen, my guinea pig's nails need to be cut. Is he in here? Get on his ass. Really? We are on, but Ryan, message me. Because I, the girl that does, that used to do my girls here lives in Pennsylvania. I, I, so I don't know. I know you're somewhere up here, but I don't know where. And she, I, I paid her. She's my sister's friend. Yeah, she's my sister's friend, and she does a good job. She still comes to cut uh, the Chihuahua's nails. Charlie, you can't do. He's got to be like, you know. Oh, uh, see, Goose's dog is so cute. Oh, no. See, I've played videos. My, uh, the second oldest, my second oldest guinea pig, Chai, she is a drama queen. And when she gets her nails done, she screams like she's being murdered. Really? That's crazy.
That makes me sad. Yeah. So I know John messaged me yesterday. He wants to get them a new like cage and take them out of that closet, which I think is perfect space for them, but that's what he wants to do. So I sent him the link to the cage and, um, and I haven't heard back from him. That, that sucks. I wonder how she'll address it. Oh, uh, really? I don't know where you live. Right, but how many? You don't have as many as I have five. Like five is 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 a lot. You know what I mean? Oh, wow. Really? I know, but, but there are people... Nah. Mm-mm. Kentucky. Um, there, no, they don't really climb. Two is not bad. Two you could do a Midwest cage for. Five? Yeah. Five is so much. Finn is Finn. Finn is always going to be Finn. You know? Hi. I think that Finn, she, she hides out a lot, you know? She's used to, like, I haven't talked to them in a while. I really don't, like, I, I think if I talk to four people around here, it's a lot. I really have, like, Finn, Finn stands on business always. Facts. Finn. Oh, I'm sorry. That's how I was with Shiloh. Good afternoon. Shiloh was, Shiloh was like my soul dog. You know what I mean? Oh, yeah, that works. Especially for two. There's a million things you could do with two. Hey, Ash, are you safe? I know. It's it's unfortunate, really. It, it is. And and I get it, right? Good. I'm glad. Um it's when I went Finn is technically my daughter's cat. Right? My daughter's just in college, so she's got to, go ahead, go. So she's just um, here, right? She, uh, she's with me, right? I know, I know. And, and I think that's what it was, though, Cookies, is that, like, when, when I had Shiloh, right? Like, John and I were broken up. We lived, I lived here, he lived there. And it was like, I, I don't know. He was just such a different dog. Rain, DM me. Let me ask her where she is exactly. Because she comes here. I don't know how far you are from here. But she comes here still to cut my... Uh, that's true too, right? Like, you can't say they weren't warned. That's a fact. Um... How's the business going, Ash? No, 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 I get it, I get it. I just, I asked, oh, I'm like sending my sister a whole voice clip. I asked to follow her number and, you know, you could work it out. That's what should have happened, right? That's what should have happened. And I'll say it again, like, I don't wish bad on people. You know what I mean? Like, I hope she gets her shit together, but it doesn't look good, right? What she's doing is not a good... <sighs> You know what I'm saying? Right. And and that's the truth too, right? Like that was the thing that we were going up against was like, uh, that's a good, you know, the video that Bernard Post posted the other day really upset me where he was like mocking the dog, but he's not really my focus. He's just another notch in the belt to me. I know. I know. I, I have. I have. I, I got the number, Ryan, so I'll get it to you when you uh when I get off. Yeah, I'm I'm that's sad. That that's I don't like that, right? Total different situation. I'm sure they're fed, taken care of. You know what I'm saying? But I don't think like if you're gonna get an animal, you should keep it locked up like that. You know what I mean? But that's not fair to the animal at all, really. But I suck, y'all. I haven't, I am so behind on live hours. You have no idea, right? No idea. And like, 
I, I tell myself every day, I got to get live hours in, I got to get live hours in, and then I just get distracted and keep it moving. Last time I was live, somebody said that they knew about probate. Does anybody remember? Amen, Panza. Hi, how are you? I am going to bleach my hair today. I'm going to bleach it. Was it you? I, somebody said they knew right by the Delaware line. Brian? <laughs> I can't see that. <laughs> I missed that. I'm sorry. Uh, so no, I'm not going to do red. I'm not going to do red. Oh, you're good. You're good. Uh, no, we're not saying there's anything wrong with kenneling the dogs, but when you keep them locked up all day, that sucks. Oh, perfect. Perfect. I got her. In well, Ryan, do you have Instagram? I'll just text her and ask. Right. That's not right. You know what I mean? Like, that's not fair to the animal. And especially with big dogs, listen to me, y'all. My mother's German Shepherd, right? Big dogs need, they have big energy, right? Like they need to be walked, run, exercised. They need that in their daily like activity. So like keeping it locked up all day is real shitty, you know? But every day I tell myself I had to go live. I'm so behind and I suck. So you know what's crazy? My mom's cat just walks around yelling all day now, all day, all night, right? He just walks around yelling. But I feel like animals are more tied to... Um, Right. That's what I'm saying. Jessica again. Um, all day, he yells. All day. So, like, at night, he'll yell in the middle of the night, and I'll call him, and he'll come running into the bedroom and, like, look for me to pet him. But he just yells all the time now. But I don't know. The dogs, they just seem, like, normal, but they're up my ass. You know what I mean? But I feel like they know. You know what I'm saying? I feel like, I, I think that animals are more connected to like the other side. And I feel like they know, you know, they haven't, they haven't done that. They haven't done that. They go, they, they eat, you know, but like, so like the big thing now is, is the house, right? Do we sell the house? Um, yeah, all of her clothes are still in the bag from the hospital, and some of them sleep on it. It's on the couch. They sleep on it. You know what I mean? But um, that's the big thing now, right? If we sell the house, you know, me and my middle sister, we're good, right? We don't live here. But my youngest sister, like, that's, you know, it's a real clusterfuck, you know? Yeah, they're comfortable. They're comfortable with us. They they just I don't know. And it's gonna it's not gonna be easy, you know, to rent if my sister has to rent with the German Shepherd alone would be a pain in the ass, you know? So it's just a lot of it's a lot. I was actually gonna talk to um you know the girl on here? Uh, she's from anti-AR. She does the pet grooming and she breeds them. Alice. I was going to talk to her, but Charlie's old. You know what I mean? He's got to be like eight or nine, maybe. So like, I don't know. I don't know that rehoming them at this age would be right. You know what I'm saying? And like my mom certainly didn't expect things to go this way. 
You know what I mean? Like it was never a thought in our minds. It was just my sister would, and my brother would live in the house and that would be that. You know what I mean? So things have come up that we weren't prepared for and we're trying to like work around it. Right. My Presta Canario, she was nine when I had to put her down. And I've been noticing when he's been trying to jump on the bed, his, he's having trouble with jumping because he is getting old. You know what I mean? But like, is it fair for my little sister to take on that responsibility? You know? Hi, how are you? Um, but it's not something that we have uh, plans for or thought about because we just figured they would stay in the house and then that would be that. Like it's, it's, if, if we sold the house, it comes with a bunch of other things that like nobody was prepared for. Nobody was ready for, you know what I mean? So like, And then I was just talking to my brother about it when we went to get coffee. I said, well, what do we do with all this stuff? Like everything that's in this house. Yeah, like you could take what you need. But my mom was a little bit of a hoarder, right? So like, where does that stuff go? It's just a... Phew. Yeah, that's th what that's probably like from what I understand. All right. So when my mom passed, right, the house was left to the four of us equally, right? My, their grandmother, the kid's grandmother, let's say we were in a split decision to sell or keep the house. She would be the tiebreaker, right? The problem that we're having that's coming along now is that the medical debt, right? There's no, hi, there's no asset. The only asset is the house, right? So the medical debt needing to be paid, sure, we could negotiate with them. That's a possibility, right? However, them putting a lien on the house because we can't refinance it or pull the equity out, right? So kind of like backs us into a corner because none of us would be approved for the, for the mortgage. Right. So like, yeah, we sell the house. We have, you know, 40 grand a piece, but that 40 grand goes this quick when you're paying bills and everything out on your own. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's just a lot, especially like where my mom lives is a very seasonal beach town. Right. So like, it's really hard to find a rental that's all year round. Right. So think about this all year round will allow big dogs and um, is in three grand a month. Because that's a lot for a 19-year-old to take on. You know what I'm saying? I was, I was talking to my sister and my brother about it the other day briefly, you know, and we were talking. I said, maybe we should just go talk to an attorney. Because, like, I don't really, like, I know a lot about a lot of things, but I don't know anything about probate. Right. And I kind of find myself thinking about this. Well, if they didn't go after my multimillionaire mother in law, what are they going to come after my mother for who had nothing but the asset? Right. And like nothing but the asset. Is it worth it to me? I tried to like, <clears throat> I tried to pull up like her credit karma. And the only thing she had was like $1,300. Granted, I did that weeks ago right? When it was still, so I'm sure that it will add up because $1,300, we could just pay out of the life insurance and keep it moving. You know what I mean? But I'm sure that things haven't hit yet, right? And, and I was trying to explain to my little brother who doesn't want to live here. He was like, I was trying to explain to him, if you and, and my little sister stay in this house, mm-mm, if you and my little sister stay here, you figure it's like $3,000 a month to move this house, right? With the mortgage and all the bills, right? That's $1,500 a piece, right? You're going to pay more than that living on your own. 1,000%, right? The rent in my apartment in Florida was $1,650 a month. Add in all the other bills, it would be like three grand. Exactly. Exactly. Right. So if we now I will say this, right. My mom 
owes, what my mom owes on the mortgage is half of what the house is worth. Right. So like maybe a little, maybe a, a lot less, but it's ultimately, ultimately, right? Like if we sold the house, we'd be able to pay the off the lien and then we'd have probably 40, 50 grand each. Right. But that's the whole thing is like, you're taking away their home. You know what I'm saying? She had a will, but the will doesn't make a difference with the debt, right? The credit card debt, they're not coming, right? They're not going to, they just charge it off. Her student loans charged off. They're not coming. It's the medical bills, right? And the week before my mom died, she had a five hour brain surgery at Sloan Kettering. You know what I mean? So like those bills haven't even gotten to us yet. So we don't even know like what we're really looking at because the medical bills, especially if it's all one facility, you can negotiate with them and get them down, right? That's what we plans on doing. It's that's what I'm saying. It's medical. That's that that's telling us it's all the only thing that we have to worry about is is medical. So like do I just wait for the bills to come and then be like, hmm? You know what I'm saying? They, my, my ex-sister-in-law said that they tried to come to, for my mother-in-law, but she didn't pay them and she, and they just stopped coming, which is what I was going with like the first couple of weeks until, um, the kid's grandmother talking about it. Then I was like, well, shit, you know what I mean? I don't think that any of us thought that it was going to be a thing until that. So it's unfortunate, right? That's right. But that's the thing. I could do that all day. But what if they see the asset? You know what I'm saying? That like a complete and total just phew, everywhere. And then like my little brother is like, they, they both work at the same place. They've just been out of work because they're doing renovations at their job. So like, really, and, and I know it's still really early, but we haven't gotten many, like I think that we've gotten two bills and not even from Sloan. Like Sloan hasn't even gotten to us yet. This is like the local hospital. You know what I mean? It's that's what I'm hoping. I'm hoping. You know what I'm saying? And that too, right? Like different states. I know Christy had sent me a bunch of things about like transfer on death deeds and stuff like that. Homestead also not a thing in New Jersey. So like it's like what the just hit after hit. You know what I mean? But that's what I thought until like all this other stuff started. Coming. And it's, it's so, I guess that what we have to do is we have to wait, you know, until everything is, is sorted through and then we'll be able to make a decision. However, my little sister won't be able to do it without my brother living here anyway. If my brother leaves, that's a lot on my sister. You know what I mean? It's a lot, needless to say. Is it, are you good now? I'm going to end anyway. I could, then I could just blame it on TikTok if I wasn't live long enough. <laughs> I could just say it was your fault. <laughs> I'm going to end anyway. I'll, I'll comment. Hold on. There we go.